everybody, AZ 80s Girl back with you, and I'm continuing my Shira collection. Uh, sorry, it's taking me a while to post more videos, just a lot going on. So, we're going to be going over the Crystal Castle today. Um, and as I was getting my Crystal Castle out of my case, I realized that I, I thought I had all the pieces, but I don't. So, I'm actually missing a window, and I will be standing on most of this because it's so big. Um, you can see the height of it um, is about. It's pretty close to me. See, a lot of things coming off this thing already. So, and the other thing I'm missing with this that came with the castle uh, would be the flag. There was a flag that attached, had a little hook that would attach to here, and probably one about this high. That was a sticker that folded together and stuck together. So I'm missing the flag as well. Um, I kept my castle uh, in my case open, so because it is pretty huge. Um, so just to be able to s display it in a case, it's half the size, so, but then it's long. So this is the Crystal Castle episode. Now I finally finished all my re-watching my she DVDs, um, and it's, it was great watching that with my son, he enjoyed it. And for those who, who you don't have these yet, watch with your kids or whoever, just get them again and watch them, they're fun. Um, one thing he enjoyed is I found out on some of the DVDs, the last one of two of the sets, you can print off coloring pages um, and have your kids color or you color with your kids. It was just a lot of fun. It has Hordak and She-Ra and all her friends. So it was it was a lot of fun. So that's the DVDs. I'm going to move those aside. So we're going to be going on the Crystal Castle. Now, the Crystal Castle on She-Ra was actually did not look like this. So I will show you all that they showed on this, the show was something that looks like this. Okay. Now it came in later where, you know, she said that she had to find something that would help her, uh, just would help her in general. So she found this crystal castle and this actual gem would open up and she would go inside. That's the only thing they showed. Sorry, the rest of this stuff here is just Horde World. But it's just this part is what they showed. Now inside was Light Hope. And Light Hope was a beaming ray of light um, that spoke a man's voice. And he pretty much knew all and, and saw all and would help her in some some events when she would want to fly in there. She was the only one that knew about it and I think one or two others would come with her. So it really didn't look like this but I think they wanted more of a play set for She-Ra and all the dolls to go. It's fun to have some type of play area house for you know to play. So they did do the clouds here because uh, it was up in the clouds. Uh, there's like you know gold over the pink rocks and stuff. I'm going to flip it around. Now this is ex pretty heavy and huge. As you can imagine as a little girl you'd be like holy moly. Um, and then so this is the back. Kind of just make it very rocky because it was you know up high clouds um, and everything. This is, um, I'll show you this later, but this is a little pulley for her little elevator thing. I'll show you, this, I'll show you later. Okay. There's hinges on this side and then there's clips here. So if you're if you're getting it, you're wanting to get the castle, I'm going to be like I said, standing here, moving in and out the camera to show you this thing. They both say press to keep the castle closed. See these clips here? Make sure that they stay closed if you're going to move them around. And this is open. This is totally open on the top here. Okay. Um, as you can see, I'll show you soon that there's a lot of furniture in there, and you got to be really careful when you do open it. So you unclip it, and they'll kind of slide over and slide over. Some of the, I've seen a lot of castles that these are broken or it's just missing it altogether. So when you open it up, slowly open it. That's what they figure is that a lot of the pieces, what, the way it closes, you can't keep everything the way you had it set up when you're playing with it. Um, hence why I keep it open in my case just so I can do that. Now with, um, real quick, with the windows and doors as I'm missing one, they were pretty floppy, so this one of mine comes off pretty easily. Everything, a lot of things were made of this blue clear plastic. The little hinges were really easily broken off. It has an S for She-Ra. There's a little hinge here to stay on there. Now this one is a little better and tighter. And then the window as well was a little easier and tighter. And I'm missing one obviously because it just kept falling off. And I just said, forget it. So I'm just going to keep that off. So again, I don't really care because I have it open in my case so, and I have dolls in it, uh, the other Shira friends in front of it. So when you open it up, it does open pretty much all the way. 
side by side. It's pretty massive. So, okay, so she wrote Crystal Castle. Now, it came with an upstairs and a downstairs, very great square feet. And this actually comes out. Like everything comes out, comes in pieces. This is the top of it. One way it goes in, and this one goes back, the opposite direction. So you can just, there's little slots to slide this back in, in place. There's the chandelier, it pops right out, and that's the blue piece. Again, these probably can, you know, start showing wear pretty quick here. Dust easily. All the furniture shoved up top because once you close it, that's the only way to fit it. So I'm going to take everything down and show you all the pieces that it came with. It did come with a few pieces. Obviously I'm missing those two, as I said, but I'm pretty sure I have the rest. Okay. All right, so here's the other um, section here that comes off as well. And these are just opposite, okay? So these, this one goes in this way with the holes, and that's where the railings go. So you find the slots, get it over that little uh, escalator, elevator there for she and slide back in, okay? All right. And then you can see here the string and the pulley, and I'll show you that at the end. All right, so you fit your little um, you know, banister things here on the sides, just for decoration, basically. It came with these seafoam colored uh, plastic pieces as well. So this was the fireplace it came with, and the little gate, the grate. The grate does come off, so I, do, I have noticed that that uh, is, you know, you can lose those, and they actually start to crack and break out over time. The sticker is in there. This is a sticker of the fireplace. So again, you can put these anywhere you'd like. Um, I'm just showing you where I, you know, where I place them. Now, um, I consider that her bedroom down on the other side. So it came with, again, the seafoam plastic mirror dresser. So she has a dresser, it's pretty thin. That's the back of it. Mirror dresser, and you just kind of lean it. Now her bed, I'm gonna show you her bed. Again, everything came apart and then pieces. So it almost looks like a boat. Um, let's see, this just came apart too, I think. I'm not gonna take it apart though. So this um, has her little, you know, thing that goes over the bed. It does come off. There's little, you know, little bumps to put, to go through there. Okay, it goes all the way around to keep it in place. Uh, these are little butterfly clips, almost like barrettes, to just clip her um, bedding back, the curtains on her bedding. Again, sorry for my camera. It's trying to fade in and phase in and out as I move. So I, I do apologize. This is the best that I can do. Uh, okay, so inside the bed, and that's what it looks like again. It looks like a boat. It's that blue plastic. Now the the mattress that she came with was just just a piece of foam. So if you ever lo lose it, just cut out your own piece of foam. And it came with this like a light purple fitted sheet. So there's a light purple fitted sheet. Just put over the foam piece of bed. Okay. Let's see. All right. All right, and then you just pretty much stuff that in there. And she also came with the pillow. The pillow was pink and has ruffles around it right there. Okay, and that goes in there. So I put her bed in there, kind of sticking out. And one other thing I put in her room was she got some a nice purple fur rug. So she has a fur section, section part of a fur rug, just a piece of, you know, fuzzy fur rug. And then you just put that down over there. Okay, so... She came with this, um, obviously, I think it holds, you know, I always put her sword in there. They would show that it holds her sword. Let's check it out. Swiftwind, there is no spot for Swiftwind inside this castle, so he kind of just hangs out outside. So a sword can be held there or, you know, down below, whatever you want to do. You know, I think it also holds, like, Glimmer's staff. Um, as the toy came with a staff and on the show it doesn't she doesn't have a staff so that's her sword can go there the other thing she came with was a treasure chest it's that seafoam green again plastic um, a couple pieces to it so there's the chest piece there's the top and it actually has that blue gold type well it's not gold blue plastic but it's you know supposed to be like rocks of gold or something like that so that goes in the castle too I just place it there 
And then she also had a table where she hung out with her friends, I guess. So, again, these come apart. There's two pieces on the legs of the table. This is what they look like. So if you ever see these pieces anywhere, let's go to a Shira castle. And that's her table top. It's the map of Etheria, home of Shira. Um, that's where everything is on there. I have seen with the Mexican version where the sticker is uh, different and it's all in Spanish. So they do have Princess of Poder, I think you how you say it, Poder. And that's the Mexican version of the dolls and everything, which they, they look the same. They're slightly different and the packaging is definitely different. The chairs um, just look like this. They also come to, apart too, it's just the legs and the seats. So there's two of those. And I'll set those down. I'm gonna lower this down here so you can see. Okay. So again, set up like in my case, I was I just have stuff out so you know they can hang out, party. So okay, the last thing that you have here is the uh, little elevator thing she rides up in. Right here is where you can put her sh her shield. To hold, it holds. It looks like a shield, so it holds her shield if you want. Um, I think I remember in commercials or just in ads where you know she rides up to the top of the castle so let's give it a whirl so you put her in there let me get her sword back so that's what makes it count okay her sword on there all right okay so i'm going to raise her up on here so it's gonna i think i may be missing one little piece to this thing i don't think i don't know but she you have to make sure it'll fit through the slot in the center here. And then you use this little pulley. Now the pulley has, this, this is the original pulley and string that came, let me see if you can see that, that came with the castle. And on the pulley itself is a, it's a big key looking thing. It has an S on it. Let me see if you can zoom in on that. I don't know if you see it there. Okay. All right, so let's go. All right, so when you try to be really careful pulling her up, because I, I remember as a kid too, it was a little difficult. So you're slide, sliding, slowly trying to get her through that little hole that are falling. So she's raising up, raising up. And I think I have a little jam there. Some of the pieces stick getting through, there we go. And she raises to the top. Okay, I think, and it doesn't stay. Oh, there it does, okay. Whoa. Not really. Um, so you just want to hold on to it. So she's at the top. You know, she has the honor. Blah, blah, blah. Princess of power. Yeah. All right. And then slowly release it down. Make sure she fits through there. Because sometimes it'll, it'll stick in place, but then it'll end up banging to the bottom. All right. So she made it. All right. Crystal Castle. Here it is. So I'm going to lower back down here. A lot of pieces here. Um, and again, you know, she can always have her friends come over. Let's see who we're going to bring over. Because I haven't gone over these guys yet, but here's Angela. So she can visit and say, hey, what's happening? You know, all that stuff. Okay. Okay, so putting the castle back uh, is just, you know, whatever way you can fit it. So if you can see here, if you wanted it, there's just no way to close everything up because they're going to smash each other. Let me see here. Because it interlocks. So you're kind of like, um, I can't shut it. So you have to end up, let's take Sheer out of here, stacking things. So one thing's off the other. You can keep that down there. Bring up the bed and everything out of that section. Just stack it. That way nothing's over there and you can actually shut it. So when you got it like that, you shut it, align it, snap it back in place. And there you go. So that is the castle. Again, it's really heavy, you know, and you can see how big it is compared to what else is out there. It's a big, big castle. So you cannot mistake this for really anything else. But seeing the He-Man um, castle, Grayskull and um, Snake Mountain of Skeletor, they're all really big things. Um, I don't have any of the He-Man uh, castles or anything like that. So just she -Ra. So anyway, all right, well, stay tuned. I have more to come. Thanks.